What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a different video and I'm like excited to talk about it because this experience was crazy. So I'm just happy to share my story with you guys. So when you go on a tour, they usually stop at a couple of different places. Like they stop at a park, at a tunnel where you can't record. But yeah, the last stop is the JSA Visitor Center where you will go in and you will get an entire kind of background about the DMZ and they will tell you about you know how North Korea and South Korea split and just everything they will just pretty much explain everything that you need to know and which is actually really helpful because if you're like me and you don't know much about it this will be very very helpful so just you know pay attention and then here's the number one thing that scared me or like the first thing that really scared me about this, the whole experience at the end of it you get a piece of paper and I just read the first line. The first line said, you can get hurt or seriously injured on this trip that could even cause you to die on this trip. Right? So I'm like, okay, why did nobody warn me? But so I'm like signing my name, you know, you have to sign off on this, which is kind of crazy to me because I felt like I was signing my life away, literally. Um, but anyway, I signed for it and put a date and I turned it in. So um, after this, you actually, they tell you to line up exactly. You, you always have to be lined up and walk. You're not allowed to just walk freely. Like you have to be lined, lined in two separate lines with the rest of the tour people. And they tell you when you can move, when you can um, like take pictures. They tell you everything you can and can't do. So um, nobody ever told me I cannot record in this building, in the JSA building, the visitor center. So I was recording. So once we leave that building, we go outside, um, we have to line up again in two rows and just listen to the tour guide tell us about you know the separation and stuff and just wait for us to go into a different building. So I'm recording, you know, of course I'm walking out of the building, I'm recording. So there are Korean soldiers or Korean military people um, and they're watching me very, very, very closely as I'm standing there. So I'm thinking like, what did I do? And mind you, they tell you, do not wave at them, don't speak to them, don't do anything, don't point, just like mind your business pretty much. So I'm like looking back at them, I'm like, well, I don't know what's going on, you know? So um, the part the Korean, um, military person whispered something to the tour guy and the tour and I, I felt like it was about me but I wasn't sure so the tour guy comes to me he's like ma'am I need to see your phone so I'm like why what's going on and he was like were you recording inside that JSA building because you're not allowed to record in there but nobody ever told me I can't record in there so that's why I was recording so um, I had to show my phone to you know the tour guy, and he had to see me, like literally see me, watch me delete that footage out of my phone. So I of course deleted it. I mean it wasn't that serious. I had nothing to hide, so I just went ahead and deleted it. Um, and then we actually went into a building. Now there, this is a building where on one side you're standing on at South, like in South Korea and on the other side you're standing in North Korea so this was pretty cool but again there was two Korean military people like I don't know what it's called soldiers I'm not sure if they're soldiers but two military people and um, they told us we can't like walk in front of them we can't touch them we're allowed to take pictures with them but we can't come too close touch them nothing just stay away so at this point, I was kind of nervous because I felt like I didn't know what I can do, what I can't do. I mean, you can't walk outside on your own. You can't, if they tell you to walk, you have to walk straight without recording. Your phone's not supposed to be in your hand. Like, you're supposed to just walk. So I felt like there were all these rules that I wish I would have known before I went. Another thing is there was two buildings. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say what those buildings were. I don't think I am because we were not allowed to take any pictures of those buildings, any videos, nothing, you can't put it on social media. So there was two buildings next to the actual um, separation line. And they were like, you cannot turn your phone in that direction. You can't do anything. You can only face forward. We couldn't take the building behind us. It was just literally so many rules. And I mean, I'm not saying I am like, I can't follow rules. I'm not saying that, but it was just like so overwhelming because like I said, I, I wasn't sure. So, and it was 100 degrees. Everything was outside. We we're constantly outside. It was just so hot. So, 
definitely if you come here I would highly suggest do not come in the summertime but that's my experience that's just how I took all of that in it was very harsh to me but you know now that you have watched this video and you know like what not to do um, I think you might have a better experience than I did so um, I hope that if you come to Korea and you plan on going to the New Zealand, I hope you enjoy your experience. I'm not trying to scare you away. I'm really just trying to give you guys my experience and what I thought of it. So I hope this video was helpful. And I also did another video about the Songtan Entertainment District. So you can click right here. Go ahead and watch that video as well. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.